$5 million in the last 30 days on TikTok shop selling these hairstyling tools. This company, Wavy Talk, is putting on a complete masterclass when it comes to TikTok shop. And in today's video, I'm doing a full breakdown on their strategy. I'm going to cover everything from their top selling products to how they actually sourced their best TikTok shop affiliates. And so there's honestly a lot that I want to cover. So let's just dive right in. So let's have a look at their numbers. Here we are inside of Calo data. This is a TikTok analytics tool. We can see that Wavy Talk has done $4.8 million in revenue in the last 30 days, which is crazy. This is not like a big e-commerce business that has like huge celebrities backing them or anything of that nature. This is a e-commerce business that's primarily focusing on TikTok shop and they're doing an extremely good job at leveraging the platform and really growing on there exponentially every single month. And there are honestly really good insights that I picked up for myself that I'm going to be leveraging for the e-commerce businesses that I work with and that I think you guys will get insights from. And so let's dive into some more specifics. So the first thing I want to go over is their TikTok shop listing. So I'm not going to go over how they set it up or anything of that nature. The main thing I want to go over is some of the things that I picked up reviewing their TikTok shop listing. So here we are inside of the TikTok shop listing for one of their top selling products, which is the Wavy Talk Negative Ion Single Thermal Brush. The first thing that stood out to me is the fact that they have clean product photos on their TikTok shop listings. They also have product photos that show off the ownership benefits of the products, the features of the products, and more. And then at the end, they also show off social proof, showing off the fact that they have 12,500 five-star reviews, which is just crazy. Also, when you scroll down, you can see that they've sold 380,000 of these units. You can also see that they have had 20,000 reviews on this individual product. And here you can see some examples of like some of the creators they work with and other images that just show off, you know, how to use a product benefits and more. And so overall, really good put together product listing, in my opinion, moving on to their products. So here inside of Calo data, we can actually see a full breakdown of all of their products, right? Their top selling product is this negative ion single thermal brush, but they also sell this five in one curling wand, this wavy talk airflow styler, this wavy talk negative ion hair straightener, and a couple others. I actually have this one with me. I'm not sure exactly which one this is. This is one of the ones that I have from my girlfriend's stash. Uh, she actually is an affiliate for Wavy Talk, which is one of the ways that I found out about them and how big they are. And so she has all of their products, but this is just one of the ones that I was quickly able to find for this video. Now, again, you can see a full breakdown of all their products. I think that one of the things that stands out about Wavy Talk is the fact that they do have quite a few options when it comes to their products. And I think that these, from what I understood, they all work complementary with each other. Like for example, this single thermal brush has its own purpose, while this hair straightening brush also has its own purpose. So it's not like they're all the same products. They all serve their own unique purpose, which I thought was great because that helps with things like, you know, average order value and, and customer lifetime value, because now their customers, if they like one of their products, they're going to purchase the rest of the products down their product line. So that's one of the things that stood out to me. The next thing that stood out to me is the fact that really majority of the revenue in the last 30 days have really came from their top five products here, right? This one, the negative ion single thermal brush did 2 million. This one did 700,000, 500,000. So really majority of the revenue came from these top five products. And so um, that was also something that really stood out to me. Some other interesting insights from their product. They did $2 million in sales in the last 30 days, just from this one individual product. One of the things that I do see that is partially the reason why they're doing so well on TikTok shop is they actually sell on Amazon, right? You can see that they have the same brush that they're selling on TikTok on Amazon, but on Amazon, they're selling it for $45, but on TikTok, it's retailing for, for less, right? This one is $37, right? On average, I already went through and, and looked at the difference. Basically, if you buy on TikTok shop, you're getting an 18% discount compared to if you buy on Amazon, which I think is part of the reason why they're getting so much traction specifically on TikTok. Also, if you wanted to see like, you know, what commissions they offer on the product, you can just click inside of here and it'll show you the exact commissions. They're offering 8% commissions for any affiliates that promote this product. Now, moving on, those are some of the main insights that I got from their product. So the next thing I want to go over is how Wavy Talk gets all of their TikTok shop affiliates. My girlfriend creates content on TikTok. 
specifically about hair care. And she actually received a message from Wavy Talk and they went over how they wanted to do a collaboration with her. After going back and forth on a couple messages, they shared this partner agreement. And basically this partner agreement, they shared the specifics of what they want from her end for the collaboration. And they basically highlight how they want X amount of videos per month in exchange for her getting commissions on all the sales that are generated from the videos that she posts specifically on TikTok shop and also a set retainer for all those videos that she posts. I think that this is a great way to get affiliates on an ongoing basis because right now the dynamic is very competitive. You have all these different affiliate contests that are taking place where you know different brands are giving out these crazy prizes. And so I think that that's one way you can do it. But this is one of my favorite ways to actually grow on TikTok shop consistently and actually onboard new affiliates on an ongoing basis. This is something that I do for the e-commerce business that I run and also for all the other e-commerce businesses that we work with. On that note, if you're looking to get help with TikTok shop, down below this video, there's going to be a link in the description where you can actually book in a call with me and my team. We can get to know more about you and your business. And then from there, we can actually outline a roadmap of how we can actually help you on TikTok shop. Now, moving forward, the reason why it's one of my favorite ways to grow on TikTok shop and specifically grow the amount of affiliates that you have is because if you can give affiliates like a guaranteed you know, income for posting X amount of videos per month, that's going to guarantee you that you're going to have X amount of content being put out every single month. And so obviously when it comes to TikTok shop, it's a volume play. It's strictly a numbers game. You want the most amount of affiliates putting out the most amount of videos. And that's part of the main formula of how you can win on TikTok shop. And so um, again, I think that this is great. This absolutely guarantees that they're going to get new content on a consistent basis, which again is how you win on TikTok. Now, moving on in terms of how they go about creator sourcing. So now Wavy Talk is pretty big. And typically what I see behind the scenes is that once you actually grow and you have social proof on TikTok and you know different affiliates see that other affiliates are making money promoting your products, you receive a lot of inbound, right? Affiliates reaching out to you wanting to promote your products. However, Wavy Talk still does outreach uh, both on TikTok and also through email. And the reason I know is because my girlfriend communicates with them through email and they specifically go after very niche creators, right? And affiliates like they really only partner with the ones that are in beauty or in hair care from what I saw. And so just some interesting stats. Wavy Talk in the last 30 days collaborated with 2,815 creators in the last 30 days. If you wanted to check, you can just come on Calo Data, you can scroll up and it'll show you again in the last 30 days. Actually, that was before when I was creating this outline. Now it's at 3,000 creators in the last 30 days, which again is just crazy, but also shows the fact that this is a numbers game, right? The goal is to have as many creators as possible. And so the way they're going about outreach in sourcing creators is again, a combination of inbound as well as outbound. Now, moving on to creator management, I'm sure that they have a full team that's just handling all of their creators and working with all of them. And the reason I know that as well is because my girlfriend has actually received multiple different messages from different people on the Wavy Talk team. And so um, I'm not gonna cover this too much, but I am gonna dive into the content creation. And so here are some insane stats and insights that I kind of picked up after reviewing some of their metrics. So in the last 30 days, they have had 4,500 videos created from all their affiliates. If you wanted to check that again, you can also come onto Calo Data. You can look at a breakdown of their videos. So actually this has also been updated since I last created the outline. Now it's at 4,875 videos that have been created in the last 30 days. Again, this is showing the fact that it's all a numbers game. Uh, the next thing is another cool insane stat is that 4.5 million dollars were generated all from affiliates and again this is going to be different because i took this outline a couple days ago now it's showing that affiliates generated 4.6 million dollars right and so outside of affiliates they generated the rest of their revenue from this 4.8 million but majority of their revenue is coming from affiliates like affiliate affiliates are literally driving majority of their revenue next is uh, I already covered this, but the fact that they made $2 million from a single product, the next insane stat is that they have made $432,000 in revenue from one single affiliate. So 
again, if you scroll down on here, you can see that he, this is one of their top affiliates here. And her alone, you know, has contributed a significant amount to their overall affi affiliate revenue. Now, the next insane stat is that $211,000 was generated from one single creator video. I'm pretty sure that this creator's video is the top performing video. So if we see here, yeah, so her video absolutely crushed it in the last 30 days, actually has now done $225,000 in sales, which is crazy. And this is a combination of this video getting organic sales, but also because they are video with ads. Now, moving on, also they're doing a combination of videos that are being put out, but also live streams. And they have had one live stream that has generated now over $22,000 and it was a two hour live stream, right? The last insane stat is that they have generated a million dollars from the top five affiliates combined, right? So if you add up all the revenue that have came from just the top five affiliates, it roughly comes out to like a million between a million and 1.1 million, which is just crazy, right? Th this is usually the case for most TikTok shops. 80% of the revenue typically comes from the top 20% of the affiliates. This is consistently the same across the board. And so, um, yeah, looking at the content creation, those are seven insane stats that kind of stood out to me. Now, overall, these are some other points that I noticed when reviewing a lot of their content. If you ever wanted to see the videos that they're having put out and that's currently working for them, both for organic as well as paid ads, you can go through and look at all their videos. But these are just some things that I made note of as I was going through their content. So I noticed that they really focus on some of these main key pain points, things like if you have frizzy hair or if you have lack of volume or if you have hair damage from heat styling. And they really focus on the aspiration being that you can get this salon quality hair with affordability at home, right? And it's convenient. When I went through their content, some of the most common angles were problem solution, where they would highlight the fact that, you know, they would have hair issues like frizz and, and damaged hair in highlighted areas. And then they position Wavy Talk as the tool that helps solve the problem, right? Emphasizing the professional results at an affordable price. So a lot of videos, you'll notice that, you know, it's really showing like before using the product and then after. And the second thing that I noticed is that there are some videos that just focus on the main unique selling propositions, things like the fact that it's affordable, versatile, and a professional grade product that can be used to reduce hair damage. Most of the videos have like really good hooks where they begin showing off like some of the most common hair struggles to grab attention. So I'll quickly pull it up here. So basically the main angle here is that if you have naturally straight hair, she's super jealous because she doesn't and she always has to style her hair with a tool. Most of the vi these videos start off with this hook and then they show off the product in use. So typically what I see is that they'll, you know, these girls, they'll show off their hair before using the brush and then they'll do like a quick pass through, you know, with the brush itself showing like the results of after. And so overall, I think that if you wanted to get more ideas on you can create content for your products, regardless on whether you're in hair care or not. You can definitely get a lot of ideas by going through what's currently working for Wavy Talk and, and look through a lot of their videos. And a lot of what I'm seeing is that a lot of their videos have really good hooks and they also do really good demonstrations. Videos are not really like ad videos where like you have your common like hook here, call to action here, demonstration here. Like these are basically all organic videos that these content creators are putting out and then they're seeing which ones are getting really good reach organically. And then they're taking those videos and they're running them as ads. This is something that I have shared previously before in past videos that I have seen work extremely, extremely well. This is exactly what would I do for all the e-commerce businesses that I work with. And that I think if you're not already doing it, that you should be doing, this is an easy way to get wins. And so typically, you know, what we'll do is just like they're doing, we'll take the top videos that, you know, get reach organically and that it go viral run them as paid ads. As you can see, their top 10 videos, they're running them all as ads, right? And also one of the things that I wanted to highlight is the fact that one of the things that they do is they actually mention to their affiliates before they come on that they're going to be running their videos as ads as another incentive to get them to come on board. Because, you know, these affiliates, if they see that you're going to run their videos as ads, they know that they can make more as an affiliate uh, from that video. And so, yeah, just wanted to share that on a quick note. The main way that they're scaling, right, 
is by doing what I just covered, which is top performing videos and then running them as paid ads, mainly on TikTok and TikTok shop ads, right? This is their main scaling strategy, right? You can literally see that any video that says ad at the top left corner is a video that's being boosted as ads. And so they're obviously just ramping up and going crazy with their ads. And so this is what's contributing to their growth. And so I think nowadays on TikTok shop, like, yes, you can get really good reach organically. In order to really get these kind of results, you definitely need to push with paid ads. There's no doubt about it. And also, you know, with paid ads, it's a lot more scalable, right? Because, you know, with organic videos, the algorithm is literally like a black box. So you can have you know, one video that's going viral today, but then, you know, it'll start dying off and it may take you a little bit of time to get the next video to go viral. But with ads, you can consistently have your ads being shown to new customers every single day, which guarantees that you can do X amount of volume per day based on your ad spend. So I'm a huge fan of this. This is exactly what we do and is what they're doing as well. Some of the main um, takeaways that I got from Wavy Talk, right? In summary, you know, some of the main things that stood out to me were the fact that they work with trained niche content creators. What I mean by trained is most of the time they're working with content creators that definitely know how to create content. As you can see, most of their videos are usually well put together. They're not really working with like people that are brand new, but they're also not like working with huge celebrities. If you look through their affiliates here, they're working with affiliates that have sometimes 14,000 followers. And then they're working with affiliates like their biggest affiliate that has uh, 400,000 followers. So they don't discriminate, right? They work with affiliates of all sizes. I'm confident that, you know, they also give different deal structures to these different affiliates based on their size. But yeah, what they definitely do is they do focus on going very specific and focusing on beauty and hair care creators. That's what I did notice across the board. They're not working with random creators that are not creating content in this space, which I thought was genius because obviously creators that are creating content for beauty and hair care, they really understand the customers that they're going after. And they're also super relatable to the audience that they're looking to target. It's a lot more convincing seeing a video from a beauty or hair care creator about their products compared to just some random person that's just promoting all kinds of products. So that's one of the main things that I took away from them. Two is in order to attract affiliates at scale, you need to have the proper incentive structure. So nowadays with all the businesses that we work with, and even for the e-commerce business that I run, I got started by offering monthly incentives and monthly retainers to all the affiliates that I started off working with. And when, when I got started, I pretty much had no choice but to get started that way. Because when you first start off on TikTok shop, you don't have any leverage. If you don't have already videos that have gone viral on TikTok shop, and if, if creators haven't already seen your product, it's very difficult to naturally get affiliates to reach out to you to want to promote your products. And so the way you can overcome that is by right out of the gate, reaching out to affiliates and offering them a retainer to post consistent content for your products. And so that's something that I actually shared in one of my very first videos that I shared on TikTok shop that I did. But now it's like something that I do for all the e-commerce businesses that I work with. And also it's usually what I recommend if you're a new e-commerce business. Now, Wavy Talk is taking the other end of the spectrum where even at scale, doing the current volume that they're currently doing, they're still doing this because the agreement that I shared with you guys that my girlfriend received from Wavy Talk, this is a recent agreement. They sent this, as you can see, 10, 12, 24, literally this month, right? As you guys can see here, like this is not something that they were doing in the past. Like they're currently doing this now. And so I'm pretty confident that the reason why they're doing it is because one, it works, but two, because the overall landscape on TikTok has become a lot more competitive. If you're only trying to get TikTok shop affiliates, by offering them only commissions, you're going to have a hard time scaling on TikTok shop, right? There's no doubt about that because it's the landscape is completely different now than it was like even last year. And so the main kind of key takeaways, I think that for us now, continue to just double down on this, um, on having these proper incentive structures. Now, you want to make sure that when you're rolling out and you're offering these retainers, it's to the right creators, right? They're not just offering retainers to random affiliates like they're offering retainers to affiliates that are like very niche specific and that you know that 
they can probably have good relationships with. And also they're doing long retainers. They're doing minimums. Like the one that my girlfriend received, hers is for a six month minimum retainer, which is great because now again, she has guaranteed income. She's going to make money from the commissions. Also, they're going to be running ads on her videos, which is going to just, you know, boost her commissions even more. As you can see their top affiliate, right? Daniel Afina on her video, you can see that she generated again, $211,000 in revenue. And so they're giving an 8% commission on this $211,000 in revenue. So if you just do some very quick math, like that is a lot of money for a TikTok shop affiliate. And obviously when they also introduce the retainers as well as the commissions, plus also running ads on their videos, a lot of affiliates are going to be attracted to want to create content for a brand like this, right? Because they have the right proper incentive structures. So Obviously wanted to cover that very in depth because there's a lot of value in having this down. The next thing is you want to scale through creator volume. As we saw, they have in the last 30 days, just to kind of recap, they have some creators that have worked with them. And so obviously this is only growing. And last but not least, I think that you want to pair a resistible offer with your product on TikTok shop. So if we look at theirs, a resistible offer was the fact that, you know, on Amazon, you can buy their brush full price for $45, or if you buy it on TikTok, uh, you can get it for $37, right? You can see their average unit price here for all their products. And so overall, those are some of the main kind of key highlights that I kind of took away from Wavy Talk. Now, something that I haven't seen any other TikTok shop do is co-create a product with their top affiliate or ambassador. So I thought this was pretty unique. Here, if you go to her page, there's a video that she shared of this recent collaboration. So... I'm pretty sure that Wavy Talk is the first brand on TikTok shop to do like this co-creation collaboration where they work with one of their top affiliates to create a product. And um, I'm not sure of the exact numbers that this individual product has done because I didn't look into this one specifically, but it's just really good to see how deep they're going on the relationships that they're building with their affiliates and their ambassadors, right? Um, this obviously shows that they're looking to build these long-term relationships with them and not just have like, you know, fly by overnight affiliates that just come and go, right? They want to go deep with everybody they work with. And I thought this was massive, right? There's, this can only help like really establish Wavy Talk even more and like really show like the fact that they really care about who they work with. And so I thought that was super unique. It's something that, you know, we're considering on seeing how we can do the same because there's a reason why they did this. I'm sure that this works right now. Moving on. The last thing I wanted to end off with is we're in Q4. Black Friday, Cyber Monday is right around the corner. And this is when majority of e-commerce businesses make majority of the revenue. In case you guys didn't know, TikTok shop is having these crazy promotions here. And so to give you guys the specifics, TikTok shop is funding your holiday sale in case you didn't know. From 1113 to 1217, TikTok is funding 50% of discounts that brands put on their products. It's capped at $30 on orders above $69. But if you qualify for this and you have the specifics, you should 100% take advantage of this. There is no way that this can hurt your situation. And this is literally only going to allow you to capitalize on the additional incentives that TikTok is offering. And so I wanted to very quickly share this with you guys on this video uh, because I think that you know, you guys should be taking advantage of this. This is what we're taking advantage of for all of the businesses that we work with that actually qualify for this, that have, you know, products that are a good fit, et cetera. And so I obviously wanted to share with you guys. And so all in all, those are some of the main insights that I took away from Wavy Talk. Like I mentioned, I think that they're putting on just a complete masterclass on TikTok shop. They're absolutely crushing it. And obviously love to see when you have you know, brands that are new on TikTok shop that are just coming in and disrupting the space. And so if you're running an e-commerce business and you're looking to get help with TikTok shop down below this video, there's going to be a link in the description where you can actually book in a call with me and my team on that call. We can get to know more about you and your business. And then from there, we can outline a game plan of how we can help you on TikTok shop. That's pretty much it for this video. As always, if you guys enjoyed the video, I would appreciate it if you dropped a like, if you guys have any questions about anything that I covered today, drop it down in the comments below and I'll get back to you guys. And of course, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. That's it for this one. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.